and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chance and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Golgari Crucible. That's right, we're going to run this deck back. We have already played this for a throwback Thursday before, but it was a lot of fun to play and got really good comments over there on YouTube about the deck and everything. And with rotation just a week away, I wanted to get this deck. I want to break the deck out again. I wanted to play it um, before it does uh, rotate out with, you know, Crucible of Worlds, Wayward Swordtooth with those cards rotating out. All right, so let's take a look at our deck. So we, we have a, a very, very slow grinding deck here where we are just trying to exploit our mana base, really, to just gain value and outgrind our opponents. We are going with some Field of the Deads here. We got three Field of the Dead, um, but then you know we're playing Field of Ruin, Cryptic Caves. These are two key cards in our deck um, because both of them we can put into our graveyard and then use Crucible Worlds to get them back and continue to do stuff, whether we're blowing up our opponent's lands with Field of Ruin or whether we're drawing cards with Cryptic Caves. Those are two ways to uh, start locking out our opponent. Um, and so, yeah, so that's that's what we're using with our Crucible. Um, we also have a Wayward Swordtooth, so we can play multiple lands a turn. So, you know, we can uh, if we have a Swordtooth in play with a Crucible, we can play like two Field of Ruins a turn and really speed up that process of destroying all of our opponent's non-basic lands. Uh, we have Elvish Reclaimers in here that help us find whatever land we need. Like, do we need to get a land that draws a card so we go find the Cryptic Caves, or do we want a Field of the Dead or a Field of Ruin or anything like that? Um, so this can just be like a one mana 3-4 after we get a, uh, three or more lands into our graveyard that can just be a nice utility card to go find different lands. Um, so that's that's kind of like what that's kind of like the backbone of our deck are these things. We have it uh, supplemented it with some removal spells, especially Assassin's Trophy, which you know the downside of Assassin's Trophy is a lot less if we're going to be using Field of Ruin a bunch anyway and getting rid of a bunch of lands. Anyway, uh, we have uh, some some Planeswalkers that help take over the game. Liliana, Ugin. I like Vivian Reed a whole lot as Vivian can just help us find lands with that tick-up ability or help us find Swordtooth or Reclaimer as well. We have Cavalier of Thorns puts extra lands into play. Of course, also puts lands into our graveyard for our Crucible world, so that's pretty crucial. And then Vraska Golgari Queen. Uh, a really good Swiss Army knife for the deck, whether it's uh, killing three mana Planeswalkers like Teferi or just other problematic permanents that cost three or less or using Golgari Queen to sacrifice our lands because if we're getting a lot of extra land drops with Swordtooth and Crucible well Golgari Queen can sacrifice the land put it back into our graveyard gain a life draw a card and then we can replay it with Crucible of Worlds so we can do something like our our gain life land Jungle Hollow for example we can if that's in play like we can Sacrifice Jungle Hollow to Golgari Queen, gain a life draw card, and then replay Jungle Hollow to gain an extra life. And so, like that cycle can be like gain two life every turn, which you know can help us uh, stay out of burn range, for example. Then our sideboard just has a whole bunch of removal depending on what we are playing against. So that's our deck. It's a lot of fun. Um, you know, kind of going going from a different angle. You know, really focusing on the mana base is not something that a lot of people do too much. And so that's what we're going to be doing here. So let's go ahead and play a league with Golgari Crucible. And we'll see how it goes. I don't I don't think there's really room for Dread Presence, but yeah, you could do the multiple swamps in a turn for Dread Presence, but may like I guess it would have to fit in over like a Cavalier of Thorn or a Vraska or Golgari Queen. Like that's where it would have to find room for, but I like both of those cards quite a bit. Oh, you, you missed this the first time we played this? Oh yeah, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, yep, yeah, I, I do like sacrificing flagstones to reclaim her. That sounds like a lot of fun. I haven't done any deck based on Scape Shift and Dread Presence. Usually, scape, like, scape Shift with Field of the Dead is just kind of good enough anyway. Um, and that's what we've seen mostly with those kind of 
those kind of decks. So our deck here, we do have we have 28 lands in our deck because you know we are we do care about lands quite a bit. But still, I don't think I want to keep colorless, colorless. All right, we can keep this. Hey, what's up, foe? Twitch prom sub. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Let's get rid of the six mana card. Keep our lands. Lands are important. All right, looks like we're playing against a Field of the Dead deck. So we can use a Reclaimer to go grab Field of Ruins. So that's important. Now we just want to find Crucible of Worlds. Well, really good start for the opponent. Turn two Risen Reef that hits a land. Very good start there. Oh, thank you so much, Fo. I saw your, your message there. Thank you. Alright, gonna sacrifice the forest with me having another forest in hand. I guess it doesn't really matter though, because we're gonna just shuffle it up anyway. I am getting rid of this field of the dead right now. Alright, one field of the dead down. Blast Zone is a little bit of a nuisance. You know, it gets rid of Reclaimer, which is a strong card. But yeah, you know, we had to just take our third turn off just to destroy that thing. Opponent's hand was quite good. Having your rock and play on turn four. We're not dead, though. Could really use a Crucible of Worlds. Or, you know, an Assassin's Trophy. Something to kill like this, your Rock or Risen Reef. Also. That's not good. That's not good at all. I follow the tracks of the wise. Doesn't matter if I keep on destroying the Field of the Dead if they keep on just grabbing it back. So I really wanted to draw a land there because a land could have allowed us to um, like a land drop then we then we grab the land off of there then we have two lands and we could we could have been able to activate reclaimer and plus an extra land would have turned on wayward sword tooth here as well so it's really hoping cavalier would find a land or sorry uh, that we draw a land To the library. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, they they've just had everything everything go for them. Whether they're you know on the play with turn two risen reef. You know, Risen Reef, then Reclaimer, then Yurok, 
on turn four, and then turn five playing Tamiyo, they got back Field of the Dead, and then turn six ticking up and hitting two Cavaliers. Like, this is their turn six. Right now. I just had my turn five, I just played a Cavalier. Their turn six double cavalier. Yeah, they may have. They probably have Nexus. But yeah, they're turn six. They're down to 15 cards here. Yeah, they have a Nexus in hand. Okay. Nexus is a problem, of course. So I want Noxious Grasps. Like these other... I want Noxious Grass, I want Veil of Summer. How are we going to have room for all this stuff? Yeah, their deck does, you know, their deck ramps a lot better, of course, because that's they're a lot more focused on that. And so, yeah, Risen Reef, Yurok, those are those are some difficult cards for me to defeat. I guess I can't, I probably can't just play. All of these Veil of Summers. I mean, I like duresses and stuff too. We can't, can't play everything though. All right, here we go. Yeah, I wish Legion's End hit Risen Reef. Yeah, I wish it did.
All right, very, very defensive hand that we have here. I really just want Crucible. I probably should just have four Crucibles in this deck. I don't know. I feel like I want something more, a little bit more impactful. I don't know. Thorongil, thanks for the resub. Thanks so much there, Thorongil. If I had if I had Crucible, then then uh, the Reclaimer would be really good. Darn. Well, now I really wish I would have kept that. I wish I would have kept the Reclaimer. We'll shuffle it back. Oh, uh, you're welcome, Thorongil. Yeah, it should be Exile Tar Creature of CMC2 or is named Risen Reef. That is what it should say. Yeah, I'm not I'm not so excited for Hushbringer in standard. I think it's I think it's really good for the Azorius Flyers deck. But that's kind of about all I see for it right now. Cuz there there aren't very many good white cards for a white mid-range deck. Is it just creatures or is it any permanent? I guess if it's any permanent now we're talking. No, it's just creatures. So they still don't want to print anything that stops Field of the Dead. I really wish I had that Elvish Rejuvenator that could turn these these basics that we get with with Evolving Wilds into different lands for Field of the Dead. Oh no, the, the next card down was Crucible. I definitely would have kept it. Couldn't go any worse. <laughs> uh, should just let them destroy it. I was going to draw a crucible. This is kind of miserable. Yeah, I know. would have just shuffled, so...
Kind of need Ritual of Soot more than Legion's End. For this matchup because because of Risen Reef. GG. Like, they probably have better cards in hand than I have. And they have four creatures and I have none. Alright, next match. Those games didn't feel very close. I remember whenever we played this deck last time, we played that same matchup, and it was a lot closer. Like, I think we may have even played it twice and went 1-1 one and one in the game, so they felt a lot closer. Those did not feel very close at all. Okay. Match number two. This could be because of how well yesterday went. And you know we got we had all those wins yesterday. Our three throwback Thursday decks were what fourteen and two combined. So we were fourteen and two yesterday with our throwback Thursday decks. So we're giving back those wins today. Yep, restore balance. Yep. Um, I guess we don't have an opponent. Maybe they realized right after they hit play match that their pizza, like their their oven beeped and their pizza was done in their oven, and they're like, "Oh well, we got to go get the pizza," and so now they're go go now they're dealing with the pizza. This doesn't. This isn't actually a very good hand. It's just two lands. This doesn't actually get me more lands. And three five mana cards. It's close to being a really good hand if we had Crucible.
Please don't trophy my crucible that's, that's over there. So if our opponent here doesn't have Tamiyo, our last opponent had Tamiyo. That was rude. If this is not a Tamiyo deck, we got our Field of Ruin Crucible combo. So do I Field of Ruin or do I just play Crucible? I could be like helping them fix their mana if I Field of Ruin. Also, I'm not sure. Darn it. This is just the exact same matchup. Oh, or come on. Come on. I guess today's your lucky Ugh. day. Frustrating. I'm not attacking because I want to activate Reclaimer. So I should have Field of Ruined and then so I could have at least played the Crucible and, and re grab the land. Want to get a different type of land because of Field of the Dead. Oh man, we'd have Swordtooth too. All right, so completely regret playing Crucible on turn three. Completely regret that. We need to be able to play Crucible and grab a land. Oh, 
They just have a third field of the dead immediately. Today's not a good day. Not a good day at all. Yeah, this far, it's true. went through all you know like we're spending all of our turns just trying to destroy field of the dead and they just have more field of the deads and they just ramp and have millions of lands in play when i have four yuck don't you hate whenever you get just completely stomped by a deck and then you just get paired against it again. Ugh. Let me play this extra contempt. All right, we're gonna try the we're gonna try not playing the Veil of Summers. We're gonna try not playing as many Legions Ends. Those cards didn't look spectacular for us last game. All right, better hand. When am I playing this jungle hollow? I'm going to turn Crypto Caves into Field of the Dead. I guess I could turn it into Field of Ruin. Just good Field of Ruin. Okay, okay. All oh, right, I play two lands. Oh my gosh, I was just past the turn. Thinking about how I was going to use Reclaimer and everything. What am I doing? Swordtooth. Swordtooth's awesome. <laughs> hey, Korean. Uh, 
Oh, hey, MC. Good games. Thanks for signing up on, on Twitch and everything to, to say hi. There. Welcome. Okay, our, our deck... Our deck worked. Our deck worked there. Hey, 619. Thanks for throwing out the links there to our YouTube or all the decks, the Discord, everything. If you're, if you're over on YouTube right now and you're not part of the Discord channel, there's a link to the Discord channel on every video description. It's a... It's um, kind of like a group chat kind of thing um, where we all uh, talk about different uh, deck brews and Throne of Eldraine right now and everything like that. It's a lot of fun. So I'm keep like Jungle Hollow isn't spectacular being a tapped land, but I'm just keeping lands on top right now. There you go, that's good. That's an untapped land. So we can play next turn we can go Overgrown Tomb, Sword Tooth, Jungle Hollow. And then the next turn we can go Vivian, tick up, find a land, and play the land. Ooh, they let me draw the card, even though I scryed at the top. They let me draw it. Yeah, no, you're usually not paired against the same record uh, with these. They. They try to pair you with the same record, but also just pair quickly. Uh, pairing quickly is an important factor as well. So yeah, you were you were two zero last time. Yeah, that was our first match. All right, Vivian, tick up, find a green source, play this out there, reclaimer. Is meet my newest friend. We're going to need to start activating these Reclaimers. We can start turning like the extra temple and the extra woodland cemetery into more useful lands. They, of course, have the Field of Ruin, but they're probably going to start playing stuff here. Hey, Caesar. Well, that hurts. We have four Assassin's Trophies. <laughs> yeah, my opponent here, I, I played Crucible game one and they had Golgari Queen. Kill it. 
but yeah this is a little bit different field deck looks like So I can just grab Cryptic Caves and draw a card. I think that's all I want to do. I could, I, mean, I could go for the Field of the Dead route, but let's see. What do we, we need to draw one more land to trigger it the first time. We also, of course, have the this Field of Ruin over here. We'll go, we'll go Field of the Dead. Oh yeah, I guess we do have Lethal. Yeah, we have lethal. So I should have gone and got Cryptic Caves. Nah, I couldn't activate Cryptic Caves. Yeah, Cryptic Caves just requires five lands. So we could we could have drawn with Cryptic Caves. We didn't have the, the mana to, to kill both their creatures and just attack them with five fives, though. No, yeah, the seven lands is for Field of the Dead. Um, yeah, our, our opponent didn't really do anything games two and three there. So that helped out. So in a level 97 Disco Crisco. First, that's a pretty cool name there, Disco Crisco. You can get there. Only a couple more. I think I sacrificed the Cryptic Caves here. You need to go get another green source. I'm going to go and another and just another green source. I'm going to go grab Temple and Scry. Trophy is fine, I guess. I'm sure it'll be useful. I don't know, it's slow though. It's all Risen Reef everywhere. and reef everywhere. Using the K 
contempt because it just uses my mana better. Doesn't and also uh, you know doesn't let them get a free land here with trophy ramping early in the game is not so good. Ramping later on in the game not so bad. I should just put the trophy down to the bottom. I'm known for my excellent timing. Sure you are. That's what you're known for. I've got time. All right, we've got six different lands in play. We need to draw a seventh. It could be a double up of any of these, and then I can sacrifice it to Reclaimer to go get the regular seventh, but we need a seventh. Of course, like always, our best draw is Crucible of Worlds. I don't know, six mana Planeswalker wouldn't be so bad either, but Crucible of Worlds, we get to go Crucible and Swordtooth, play multiple lands from the graveyard. We would play, like, Field of Ruin or Swamp, either one, really. I guess Field, make one zombie, then another Field, make two zombies. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Like we're probably gonna have to trophy this Nissa. Rise, my elemental friend. Let's try this. I like to save Legion's End for Crisis. Welcome, Muse. Getting that gifted sub. 619. You're so nice, 619. Thank you so much there. <laughs> oh, thanks, Zedlom. Let's see. That doesn't really matter. That's That's good enough. <clears throat> We're only two sub goals away from our next 12 hour stream. We're actually really close. Um, I'm thinking about saving it though, even if we hit it. Like, within the next day or two, I'm thinking about wanting to save it till a week from today, till Thursday, whenever Throne of Eldraine's out, and do the 12-hour, the we could do, like, a 12-hour Throne of Eldraine stream with with all the, you know, different decks and everything. I've got it. But, of course, whenever we do hit the goal, you know, we'll start marking towards the next one, and so if I do save it for next Thursday, maybe we do it, you know, maybe we hit another 12-hour stream, like, you know, just like a week later or so. Oh, I didn't activate this Reclaimer. Dang it. I meant to activate Reclaimer. I was talking, I forgot to, act. I just forgot there. My bad. All right, where's Crucible? Not Crucible. Of course, we can't play Instance because of Teferi.
the sub battle you can do any format. You can you can choose like if you're up, you can choose your format. I guess. I mean, so it'd just be regular. It's gonna be regular standard, but I guess I don't have all my standard 2020 decks on on here because of the limit. That's one thing I really hope changes with the different formats. I really hope they up the limit of how many decks you can have. This is really it's already a pretty big hindrance. And now if we have like Brawl and Historic and everything, I, I don't have the room to have all the decks that I want on on oh, my account. I've done the hero thing before. So let's. Yeah, we just activate this thing. Oh, my other cryptic caves is gone. Alright, Liliana. Start doing your thing. Yeah, so, yep, yep. Yeah, whenever we get our next subscriber, that'll hit one sub goal and then one more after that. And yeah, still saving. Still saving Legion's End for Krasis. Yeah, um, yeah, basically I just, you know, I have all like the, the YouTube videos of all the, the decks and everything that I can go back and re-grab, you know, kind of go back and look and re-grab deck lists, but prefer to just have them, like, all, like, on Arena where I can, you know, kind of browse through them and be like, oh, yeah, I want to update this one or let's update this one, you know, kind of thing. Hmm. It's like they're tempting me to cast this Legion's End on those Hinterland Harbors. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight different land types. So I can lose one of them. I leave the Golgari now. Step pain is weakness, leaving the body. Let's draw two. Waste not, want not. We'll find Crucible somewhere. We'll find Crucible somewhere. Yeah, Field of Ruin. Yeah, we can destroy the Hinterland Harbors with Field of Ruin also. <clears throat> Getting the gifted sub from Santa619. We have hit a sub goal. Welcome to the channel, Zedalam. Yeah, we can't do the basic land. We can do the other ones, though. 
Resolve. Trust me, I have a plan. Houses falling apart. Everyone is expendable except me. Crucible. They were a lousy servant anyway. Hmm. All right, so that'll kill Nessa. I don't have like a time wipe, right? Probably don't have a time wipe. Sounds looking good for us. We will not fail. Yeah, I know. We like mill out if they time wipe. I know. That's what I'm worried about. I was like, oh, that could be bad. The land for we gotta find one of our crucibles somewhere. I'm telling y'all, once, once we draw Crucible, this thing is over. It's pretty over right now, anyway. We got this pretty locked up anyway, but if we draw Crucible, it's really over. Oh, man. We are going to do some crazy stuff if we hit a Crucible. Is oh, I should take up Ugin first. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, y'all ready for this? Do I have a field of ruin in the graveyard? I do have a field of ruin in the graveyard. All right, here we go. Let's play all these. Let's play this. Double trigger. Start blowing up all these lands. Hey, what's up, Scooter? Scouter? Thank you so much there, Caesar. Man, we get so many land drops, too. My opponent's not even going to know what, what happened to him. Double trigger there. Double trigger there. Next turn we get to Vraska Ultimate. I'm manually tapping here because I don't want them to tap the Field of Ruin, like the other Field of Ruin. Deck sweet. I 
<laughs> this is game one. And more land drops we got. Not enough. Not enough land drops. Man, Crucible is awesome. <laughs> See, this is some good magic right here. All right, we'll just get rid of the Liliana so there's a time wipe we don't die. We don't get we don't mill out. Let's reduce the battle to shambles. No, got rid of Liliana, so time wipe doesn't kill us. Didn't want to die to yeah, didn't want to die to time wipe. They're down to three creatures. We have ten times that. Almost. I'll protect you. Eight times it now. So I think. Golgari Queen Ultimate will have us win the game, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I can no longer stand by and watch. That's more like it. We have an 11 card hand down here. <laughs> Man, that was a lot of fun. All right, so again, we get to upgrade cast down. Just turn it into a noxious grasp. Seems like a pretty decent Ritual of Soot matchup also. Hmm. Do I want... Guess maybe I just take out one Reclaimer, one Sword Tooth. I don't know. Those are kind of like my best cards. I'll put in like, you know, this extra interaction. Let's take out one Reclaimer. We can do that. And then... Uh, I'm not sure what this last card that I want to take out is, honestly. I want to play all of these that we have in here. I guess I could just go down to one Legion's End. We'll just do that. We'll just do that. Hey, Candice. No, I... Teamer Invocation was... I mean, it has a really high curve. I honestly played really, really bad. Honestly, it was... It was a really bad league for me. I made a lot of mistakes in the games, but... Besides that, we played against three combo decks. And our deck is, like, real slow, dirtily. And so the combo decks were tough. Well, 
Why did I put that to the bottom? I need that. I need land. Yeah, I need that card. Oh, we should be able to find other lands. Ugh. Famous last words. Yeah. I know, I needed that Field of Ruin. I can I get to Field of Ruin this next turn, though. And shuffle it back. So yeah, I can I can shuffle it back. I'm getting instantly punished. You know, spell spell, our twenty eight land deck. Where's where's our other lands at? I'm glad no Nissa. Even though we could maybe take out one land with Nissa, but still. Yeah, absolutely, Kendis. Absolutely. They could have negate, or like Dovin's veto. They could be doing that. Yeah, I'll play Esper Mill. No problem. All right, come on, deck. 28 land deck. Tap land. Yeah, now I don't have the Noxious Grasp to kill Nyssa. I can't just take eight from the eight eight there. The land shall conquer you. I could have just noxious, noxious grasped the crisis on my turn and then untapped and see if I got to set, but I, I was just being really greedy. <clears throat> hey T Seth, good evening. I almost don't want to play Ritual of Sit for how much my opponent's playing into it. I almost don't want to show it to them. Where's our lands? We're a 28 land deck. I'm getting so punished for for not. Um, yeah, it's either it's either sit there or concede. I mean, those are like the two options, and go to game three. There's not really other options. The past is never forgotten. Rise, my elemental friend. I 
<laughs> 28 lands means you have a 28% chance of drawing a land. It's true. It's all because I, I put the Field of Ruin to the bottom, and then my deck is like, okay, you put the Field of Ruin to the bottom, so you don't want lands, right? Here's some more expensive spells. Have another Liliana. Have a Vivian. Why not? It's like, no, deck, no. Maybe I should, like honestly, maybe I should just concede it and not play the ritual of set. Still had millions of cards in hand over there. Now they're gonna know to play around ritual of set a little bit. Ugh. If I just if I just kept that field of ruin on top, good chance I could have won that. But messed that up pretty bad. Okay, game number three. Here we go. E that's slow. That's slow. So our deck is pretty slow. I should have kept that, honestly. Okay, I, I regret mulliganing that. I should have kept that. Just four lands, some top end, but yeah, I regret mulligating that. All right, well, Sword Tooth doesn't do anything for us here right now. I guess I guess the Sword Tooth would have let us play Cavalier on turn four if we hit more land drops, which is what we'd be looking for here. Dang, should have got rid of Noxious Grasp. Keep. Yeah, because if I if I kept Sword Tooth instead of Noxious Grasp, I would have gone Sword Tooth plus play Forest or play so Woodland Cemetery. Now. Then if I draw land here, I would have been able to go Cavalier. Don't worry, I got this. Okay, well, it wouldn't have, would have been a Field of the Dead, so I wouldn't have been able to play the Cavalier anyway. Here we go. That's right, Fairy. Here we go. Cavalier time. I only have four different types of land, so if I grab the Field of the Dead, I'm still only at four. The Swamp would put me up to five. That's not very... very close to uh, activating Field of the Dead, so we're just going to get the Jungle Hollow. Uh, right down here. Um, yeah, we're doing the sub-battle stream on Saturday. And then Sunday, we're doing the Throne of Eldraine Brewer set review. Doing that on Sunday. So, 1 p.m. on Sunday for goes nothing. where we're going to be talking about every single card and how we could use it in standard. And a lot of, lot of chat inter uh, interaction with that. I'll have chat up on the screen for that. So, yeah, 
Hope you all join in for both of those. Well, let's do this thing. Get Cavalier back. That sounds like a good plan. We have a couple more lands than they do. How? They're just giving me so many Cavalier triggers. We do, of course, need to find... Trigger. We need to find Crucible of Worlds. have time wipe in their like million mana creature deck and Nissa deck probably not so I have one two three four five six seven eight nine so I have nine different types so if I sack evolving wilds I'll go down to eight and then if I activate cryptic caves I'll be back down to seven so we'll be good there as long as we don't activate field of ruin also still no crucible so that's good. They have an island. We saw we saw basic island last game. By Field of Ruin, their blue source, they'll have another one. I think they have one island, one plains, and two forests. I'm pretty sure we saw Island the first game. Maybe we didn't. Maybe it was just planes and, and the two forests. So that's kind of a problem if I if I kill the deputy. That's kind of a problem. Ten more cards put us down to fifteen. I know I milled over one Field of the Dead. Is it just one? Okay, yeah, just one. So there's one more Field of the Dead in here. Depending on what my opponent does here, I, I make Noxious Grass the deputy. Huh. They actually do have. I 
I actually do have timeline. Looks like I didn't plan that correctly. I didn't, I didn't stack that correctly, but... No, I couldn't afford a whiff there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I still have enough basics to do this. Or enough lands for Field of the Dead. That hurt. The second one just being five cards. No lands. That hurt. All right. Best of one dinos. So no no blue source over there, it turns out. We're gonna get the field of ruin where we can have instant speed interaction. Or uh, instant speed uh, zombies, sorry. All right, two and one. All right, best of one dinos. Yud. Can you do me can you do me a favor, Yud? Can you take a one of our gruel take a gruel dinosaur? Kinda gave her a trophy. Let me give her a trophy. No. Yeah, thumbnail for best of one. Thanks. Thanks, Yud. No problem, though, Kendis. Is this like the same matchup we just played? So yeah, so then, um, so then Kendis. So then I, uh, Saturday we're gonna be doing the sub battle stream. Uh, gonna do that on, on Saturday, and then Sunday I'm gonna be doing the set review. So I'm not gonna play. Oh, so yeah, so I won't be doing any uh, donation decks for those two days. So I, I know I have a donation deck for you tomorrow, and then I'll, then Monday. Then um, unless unless you want, you know, one of those moved to a different day. So yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. You know, yeah. If you also want to wait till the new format is available too. Whatever you want there. We'll figure it out. Voracious Hydra. Fighting that thing. No. Bad Hydra. Mm. That was an important Paradise Druid to kill, it looks like.
Hmm. Perfect. The land shall conquer you. I'm glad they didn't do the basic. So we'll go get Field of Ruin to destroy the Sun Petal Grove. We drew the land, which we needed also, so that works. Forgive me. Okay, we're doing stuff. Ramp them a little bit. Maybe I'm supposed to just play Golgari Queen and kill Krasis. Yeah, I'm playing too much of a long game here. I mean, lands are pretty important, though. Darn it. <laughs> uh. And I really do need to just kill this Krasis. I really don't want to, though. I really want to kill Deputy. Good. Oh, it's not often I'm outmaneuvered. I mean, because, you know, I'm at nine. I, I really got to get rid of that Krasis, because that thing... Helps trigger Field of the Dead. Its pain is our gain. I 
So I kind of want to sacrifice a land so that they can't just have Deputy attack the Ugin. Be like, play Tristani, attack Ugin for two. This doesn't mean I'm going to get, like, less zombies, though. But now we have a 3-4 to block. Show remorse. I'll show you strength. I'll protect you. Death comes for us all. Prison Reef. It's weird that we played against the same deck twice and then the same deck twice again. And they're not like super popular decks. Like they're, you know, they're. They're Dexy face, but not like all the time. I won't forgive this. Oh my gosh, I'll get to play Reclaimer now, unless I go Forest. Ugh, what am I doing? What am I doing? That was not the right play, that gets rid of, like, that. F I needed that Field of Ruin in play to be a different basic and everything. I mean, I guess this is too. Uh, so I, I just don't get to play Reclaimer. Hmm. Should have got... F yeah, I don't know. I feel like I could have done that turn better. That's more like it. Maybe I just don't grab Field of the Dead. The other Field of the Dead. can't really sack the evolving wilds. I need it for different land types. I feel like I could have done that, that turn better. Unfortunately, our, our one ritual sits in the sideboard. Wish we had access to that. So I'm going to... My plan this next turn is to destroy both those Hallowed Fountains. Try to take them off blue mana. Why do they have all of those? Don't they get tired of that card? Unfortunately, a flying creature is a problem. One that I don't have an answer for currently. They have a lot of basics. I wish they didn't have so many basics in their deck. Their three color deck. If I would have had Reclaimer in play. 
Last turn. I could have sacrificed one of these forests here and gone and grabbed Cryptic Caves. Which I wouldn't be able to activate, but I... Oh, I've done the hero thing before. So could have got <clears throat> some more zombies though, or you know I could have just gotten any land. And like getting other land. Good old second main. Don't want to attack for that extra point. Getting whatever land would have been able to trigger the field of the dead. So then I could have sacked the evolving wilds trigger field of the dead again. So could have got more creatures. All right, that wouldn't have mattered. They're taking the 10 two twos, right? Yeah. Wish I had Ritual of Set. Don't know what my out is. Oh, the other temple's in my hand. Well, this is a waste. I guess I just get this thing. I was gonna get a temple to scry. But at least we th we thinned the deck one card. Yeah, Hydro Crisis is a pretty good card. The three Crisis were really tough. I kind of feel like I need maybe I need more Ritual of Suds. Just keep on playing against Risen Reef decks, and I keep on wanting uh, Ritual of Suds. Upgrade the Cast Downs to Noxious Grasps. I do have quite a bit of targets for Legion's End. Maybe I don't really need Contempt with having all these Noxious Grasp and Trophy and everything can just get rid of the 4 mana removal spell. They have a lot of things that kill Krasis. We just didn't draw them. Let's see. No, I don't think I really have room for Veil of Summer. Of course, Veil of Summer doesn't do anything with Teferi. Anyway. Could play a cast down... Maybe I play one cast down instead of the third Legion's End because cast down kills Deputy and Risen Reef. So I'm going to cut one card here. I'm thinking Vivian. I don't know. Vivian's really good. Could be Vraska. Yeah, we'll do one Vivian. I don't know. Lord Paku, I'm, I'm not... Like, can you be more specific with your question? 
All right, so we could have turn four Vivian. That's possible. Is your question, is Sultai Flash dead in standard 2020, like that format? Is that the question? And if so, I don't I don't know the answer to that question. I've never played Sultai Flash in that format. Or like is it, are you saying that like next year, you mean? I am not going to sit this one out. I've got time. All right, so you said you said Hushbringer is a sideboard staple for next rotation. I didn't help. What decks are playing no it in the sideboard? The wilds like I do. Like what white mid-range decks are there? I mean, I guess our opponent's deck, but they're playing. This is a Risen Reef deck. Let's do this again. I think this might be a bad idea. The Hushbringer is going to be very good for Azorius Flyers. But there's not really white mid range decks running around because they have not been printing good white cards in a while. White's been the worst color in the last few sets. Like every set for the last few sets. Oh, there's knights. That's a see. There you go. There's a deck. Don't Mardu worry. knights. I got this. Yeah, they could they could play that in the sideboard. Mardu knights could have it. Hey, what's up, puppy? Thank you. Okay, okay. Get rid of these deputies. I've lost the wilds are my shield. I've lost the wilds are my shield. So unfortunately I didn't get a uh we'll just sit back. I didn't get a uh untapped green source, which is what I wanted to grab with Vivian to be able to play Crucible. There. Still a pretty good turn, though. Are they going to do Krasis for six and then bounce Krasis with Teferi? So I don't kill it with Vivian?
<laughs> Ugin's such no, a bad influence. Broke out his cycle. attention and then brought Vivian with him. How many of these white mana sources could I destroy this turn? Probably not a ton. Oh, really? On the flavor text? A guru card says the curse is broken on the flavor text there? That's pretty sweet. Teferi out of here, that's really annoying. Sometimes rest I always survive. You'll see. Alright, good. I like seeing them play a forest. Return of the Wild Speaker. That's good. The curse is broken. There's a red land, a dwarven mine. When it ETVs, you make a little 1 1 dwarf. That's pretty good. Nothing wrong with that. They want a 12-13? Why would you want a 12-13? You can't stop nature. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, good. So I was going to be able to play Sword... I was going to be able to activate Field of Ruin again, play Sword Tooth, play the Field of Ruin back. Also to get more zombies. Oh, I got the sound bug going on. All right, my bad, my bad. We'll reset after this. Get rid of that. Sound bug. Um, if I remember. So they got Voracious Hydra. Also. Does make Legion's End even better. We'll still just go with this, though. Oh, so... Okay, so yeah, they reprinted... Uh, um... Tormenting Voice, huh? 
We just call it Thrill of Possibility. It's good for Phoenix decks. Really slow hand. It's kind of what our deck is, though. Oh, it's an instant? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Is it with that with that kind of card you have to be worried about playing it into opponent's counter magic? Just not letting them cast a white spell. Taking out the white source. They just have the four forests for basics, so. Yay, no Nissa. Hopefully that hurts them. I guess that's why they passed. They were just holding up Frilled Mystic. We don't have to be too worried about that. They scried to the bottom, right? I'm pretty sure they scried to the bottom. It will certainly be annoying if they have another Frilled Mystic. They do. And it is. Why can't Frilled Mystic die to Ritual of Set? Why, why can't that be a thing? How big is this? Krasis? Six? Didn't get any more lands for Reclaimer either.
And yeah, Dickey lands to turn Reclaimer into a 3-4. That's unfortunate. And our only land was a forest that we already have, so we don't get a zombie either. That's also unfortunate. A few different unfortunate things there. Yeah, I'm worried about that one. I will protect the virtue of this world. That was our worst case scenario to see coming back at us too. Yeah, we gotta wait till after. Right. So we hit another land and get one zombie. And then... Oh, are you kidding me? No land? How are we missing on land again? That's that's lethal. We had to hit any land. Literally any land. To get blockers. Like, w how could we not hit a single land? Because, like, if we would have... So, like, let's say we just hit, like, a, a regular land that would have got us a zombie. Then I could have played Field of Dead and gotten two more zombies. We could have had the three extra block... You know, we could have had three blockers here. And then I would have had Cavalier of Thorns for Shifting Ceratops. So if we would have just hit, you know, like a Jungle Hollow or an Overgrown Tomb or a Field of Ruin. Dang. All right, so we played the same matchup twice. Twice. We went... One and one each time. The first one definitely felt worse, but we pulled out the second win. The second one felt better, but we lost the second match. Yeah, we had our... We had our Cavalier Thorns miss twice... Or let's see. I don't remember. It, it missed that time, and it something else... Unlucky happened with the other time we played it, but yeah. Yeah, we had to find like one of our Field of Ruins or Overgrown Tombs or anything, something like that. Then we would have had three zombies. Oh well. So that's Golgari Crucible. As you can see there, it was a pretty slow deck. Uh, but it, it can really grind out the late game as good as anything. Um, yeah, as good as anything going. So that's that's the goal of Golgari Crucible. Those Frilled Mystics were really good. You know, the like that was a that was a really good card on the play having having Frilled Mystic immediately. Um, you know, they just got to hold that up turn 3. I didn't I didn't cast anything, but then turn 4, turn 5 puts a lot of pressure on you when you get to do that on the play uh, against a slower deck like mine. Good sideboarding there for the opponent and good good drawing finding both of those. All right. Um so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, though, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Feel free to leave some comments as well. But thank you so much for watching some Golgari Crucible, and I'll see you for the next video. Okay. I can't stop the recording if you're in the way. Yeah, I can't see where to hit the stop recording button.